Hello everybody, my name is Elizabeth Knutson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you love Bath and Body Works products and especially their three wick candles as much as I do, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button located directly underneath this video as well as the notification bell right beside it so that you are always notified as to when I upload a new Bath and Body Works candle review video to this channel. We are now on day 10 of my 30 candle reviews in 30 days per Personal challenge. I am super excited that we are finally in the double digits, everyone. And if this is the first video that you're happening to come across regarding this personal challenge, essentially I have decided to upload one candle review video a day throughout the entire month of April so that on my 30th birthday, on April 30th, we will have 30 candle review videos. So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the 14 and a half ounce three wick bubbly rose candle by Bath and Body Works. This candle is part of the same candle collection that the Wildberry Jam Donut candle is in. If you have not had a chance to check out my candle review video on the Wildberry Jam Donut candle, I'm going to include a link right up here where you can go and check that out. This particular packaging of the Bubbly Rose candle is currently available for purchase either on the Bath and Body Works website or if you prefer to do your shopping in person, this candle is available at certain select Bath and Body Works stores. So since this candle is currently available online, I'm just going to throw up a quick screenshot of the fragrance notes of Bubbly Rose, which is pink sparkling rose, sweet blood orange, and a splash of cranberry juice with essential oils. When I smelled the Bubbly Rose candle cold for the first time, I was really surprised by how much of the orange and the cranberry fragrances I could detect as opposed to the sparkling rose. I was really expecting this to be more of a mature type scent just because of the name. I can get a hint of that sparkling rose fragrance. However, I feel that the orange and the cranberry juice fragrances really make up the scent of this particular candle. A couple of different candle fragrances by Bath & Body Works that I could compare to the Bubbly Rose candle would have to be if you were to take champagne toast and mix it with the essence of pineapple mango or island margarita. It has that sophisticated sparkling fragrance note in addition to a little bit of tropical as well. So if you love any of those candle fragrances, I think that you would also enjoy the fragrance of Bubbly Rosé as well. So taking a closer look at the label of the Bubbly Rosé candle, we see that beautiful center label with the toasting wine glasses and the name Bubbly Rosé. I just love how this label reflects the light and you can see all of those beautiful rainbow-like colors. And then to either side of the candle, we have these little designs, including some hearts and some bow ties and some champagne glasses that have been opened and also some toasting wine glasses. So that design continues on either side of the main label before turning into this kind of sheer opaque red candle jar. Now that we have discussed the fragrance notes and the overall scent of the bubbly rose candle, I'm now going to put this candle on my lamp warmer for a period of about four hours. That's just the general guideline that I follow by Bath and Body Works because they actually outline that on the labels that are stuck to the bottom of each of these candles. And I find that that usually gives the candle enough time to heat up properly under my lamp warmer, allow the wax pool to form, and release the fragrance of the candle throughout my home. In addition to leaving this candle under my lamp warmer and allowing that wax pool to form and the fragrance to disperse throughout my home, I also use a tape measure to measure just how far I am able to detect the fragrance of the candle from the lamp warmer itself, which I feel is helpful in deciding for yourself if this is the kind of candle that is better suited for a smaller area or room, or if it's the type of candle that is able to disperse the fragrance throughout your entire home. So with that being said, let's get started. So here we have the Bubbly Rosé candle. 
It has been under my lamp warmer for about four hours now and taking a closer look at the wax pool. It has melted fairly evenly for the most part, although there are some solid areas around the outside part of the candle wax itself. In terms of the fragrance throw of the Bubbly Rosé candle, the scent is the most strongest around 10 to 12 feet away from my lamp warmer and the scent starts to taper off around 20 feet away from the lamp warmer. So I would say that the throw of this particular candle is above average. It's not the absolute greatest throw in a candle, but it still goes a considerable distance. And the fragrance of this candle smells just as well as it does when I smell this candle cold. So if you are looking for a fruity, type fragrance to fill your home, then I can recommend the Bubbly Rosé Candle for you. And this concludes today's review of the 14 and a half ounce three wick bubbly rosé candle by Bath & Body Works. As I stated before earlier in this video, the bubbly rosé candle is currently available for purchase either on the Bath & Body Works website or if you'd like to have a chance to smell this candle first in person before you decide to buy, you can also find this candle in select Bath & Body Works stores. If you enjoyed watching this candle review video, I would certainly appreciate it if you could show me some support by liking this video by clicking on the thumbs up located directly underneath the video. Also, I would love to get your feedback on the bubbly rosé candle, so please leave me a comment down below letting me know what your initial thoughts are on the bubbly rosé candle and whether or not you've had a chance to smell it in person and whether or not you like the fragrance. Finally, if you enjoyed this candle review video and you want to see more candle review videos like this one in the future, then please consider hitting that big red subscribe button located directly underneath this video as well as the notification bell right beside it so that you are always notified as to when I upload a new Bath & Body Works candle review video to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting me and my YouTube channel. And I will see you tomorrow with another candle review video. Bye!